We're back out here on the New England Mountains in pursuit of the giant Great One Bull Moose, but this time we're going to start all the way on the north end and work our way down the south along this river all the way down to this island. Island. This outpost. Well, there's kind of like an island there, I suppose. Well, we got our first sighting of a couple of moose down here. It looks like we have two cows coming in, but there definitely should be a bull somewhere nearby. Yep, yeah, there he is right there. As a matter of fact, we got eyes on a bull. Not a very big bull, but we got a bull out there at about 340. Now, one thing that I'm trying to figure out is where they're going to actually drink at. You know what? On second thought, we don't have time to play this game. We got this bull coming in right here, and we're going to take the shot as soon as we get a chance. Oh. He's trying to outsmart us here. Boy, he really is, isn't he? No shot. But that'll do right there. Got a perfect heart shot. You know what? I think they actually might have drank right in front of us. If we go over there and find tracks, it's going to be pretty funny. I don't know. We waited for a long time and they never decided to drink. So here's our bull down right here. Perfect heart shot. 120 yards out and the 154. There we go. That bull's a little bit better than the one that we just took down. In fact, you got a big old level four out there at about 360. Perfect opportunity for a heart shot. Here we go. I think we'll actually probably just hold right on. Even though we should have a little bit of drop. We're holding right. All right, we had more drop than I thought, but the second shot was a perfect heart shot at 360 yards. But that was a pretty good bull down right here. Let's take a look at him. Even though the first shot didn't connect, the second one definitely did. 378 yards straight through the heart and a 208 gold bull moose. We got a gobbler out there at about 280. Let's see if we can't bust out the AR-308 and go for a perfect headshot. Got him. <laughs> that shot was money. Wow. There's a good bull, about 360. This guy's pretty broadside, and we could definitely go for a heart shot. All right, I said 360. So we'll have a tad bit of drop, but not much. That shot was perfect. And that's going to be another heart shot. All right, so let's take a look at this gobbler here and see if we did, in fact, pull off a perfect headshot at about 260 yards. Yeah, I'd say. Got him right in the middle of the neck at 280. Let's take a look at our gobbler as well. A really cool looking pose as he's kind of just sitting there fanning out. Honestly, that looks sweet just like that right there. Wow, I like that a lot. Look at that. I thought I saw another moose over there. It's only a cow, but it's another moose. And you know what? Since we have to go over there anyways, I feel like we should probably take a shot. Money. Perfect shot. She's going down. But here's our bull down right here. Let's have a look. 179. And perfect heart. Left lung shot at 350. So he was nowhere near being a gold, but still a solid looking bull. All right. Here's our cow down right here. Let's pick her up. And perfect heart, double lung. Ooh, double lung heart shot at 250. That's quite impressive there. I'm actually quite impressed. Is that honestly a bull? It is a bull. It's a tiny bull, but it's apparently a level two bull moose out there at about 260. Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd figure out where he was heading to, but it doesn't appear that's going to be happening. So a we'll try and catch kind of mid lung. There was no opportunity for a heart shot there, but I would say we should probably look for blood, but we happen to run right into this bull. Now, again, it's a super, super tiny bull, but we did pull off a nice right lung shot and actually almost did catch the heart if it would be possible to be able to get there and get penetration. But there's no way, like I said, when he's quartering that much, 260 yards and a super, super tiny bull. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Freaking giant bull. I mean giant. 220 minimum. 
Holy. Did he stop right there? Well, he did for a second, and now he took off. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. What a bull. All right, so we've been sitting here for a little while now, and we haven't seen any sign of these moose at all, especially that big bull. Last place that we saw him was right over there, so I think what we're actually going to do, this might sound kind of interesting, but we're going to go over here. We're going to throw the red dot scope, or I should say the red dot, well, I guess you could call it scope, on to the 300 Magnum. So if it jumps up, we'll have the 300 Magnum to be able to take the shot. All right, that's going to be his track right there, but it looks like he might have looped back around up here and yeah he did so i don't think it would have worked either way just because the wind is blowing right towards him well i don't know exactly what that is but we're gonna go for a shot with a 300 magnum and smoke him on the run i figured we might as well take a shot since we're over here chasing down this moose what a shot Right lung shot, 21 yards on the run. It was only a female, but still pretty epic moment right there. All right, so as you can see, we've been tracking this bull for a pretty good while and have yet to even see him ever since the beginning. But we're still staying positive out here and I have high hopes that we're about to jump him up any minute now. What is that? What is that? Oh my God, that's our bull. That's our bull. That's our bull. Ooh, shot him too far forward he's definitely hit holy that's a big bull oh man that's a big bull got him just a little bit too far forward we didn't have a ton of options though. I mean, we've been watching this bull for quite a while. We finally got him to an opening here where we can actually potentially get a shot off or two. Yeah, I don't think the second shot even hit. First shot definitely hit him right in the neck. Yeah, we got blood. Hopefully the second shot missed. Uh, it's looking like it did. Still staying over here at 75% health. Going down towards the river. That's where we want him to go. Right to the river. Come on. All he's got to do is make it to the river. Oh, got a bear right there. About 80 yards out. I'm going to go for a shot with the bow. Because we got to go over there anyways. So I'll tell you what. Let's zero him for 60. Hold a little bit high and left. Got her. That'll take her down. And now we can get back on that bear track, or I should say back on that bull track. Man, I thought that was, honestly, I thought that was the cow that was with our bull at first. But it turned out to be a black bear. And there she is down right there. Huh. But right, keep an eye out, because I guarantee our bull is in here somewhere. But here's our black bear down. Nice left lung shoulder shot. Barely missed the heart there. 15.5, but it was only a female. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh my god, that's him. That's him. That's him. Oh my god, that's him. All right, guys, he's 102 yards out right in front of us. Got him. There's another decent bull there as well. But our big bull just hit the ground. Holy, that was an awesome, but extremely, extremely tough hunt. But in the end, we got him. Well, more like finished him off. <laughs> he was already hit once. It's just the first shot wasn't quite good enough. Man, I let him like a tad bit too much. Honestly, if we would have taken the shot maybe two seconds later, 
he probably would have been laying right there. But here he is down. We finally got him, guys. This thing is dime potential, by the way. He is massive. To have a minimum estimate of 220 plus is a giant bull. Well, I'm going to say he's going to be like a 240s, probably. All right, let's pick him up and find out. 241. Holy, talk about a close guess right there. Huge bull, and we actually hit him. Oh, you're talking about three inches too far forward there from having a perfect shot on the trot 46 yards out almost had him there but just now we got him at 114 and made a nice lung shot with the 300 magnum and the red dot scope all right let's take a better look at this awesome looking bull that we just took down here again a sweet looking rack and he does have a very unique paddle on both sides as well he just doesn't have the front part. It looks like it's pretty busted off there. His uh, shovels are kind of lacking. But other than that, he's a sweet, sweet looking bull. Ooh, there's a good bull. Now this will be for kind of an interesting shot. We're talking about 260, but we're gonna have to wait until that cow puts her head down in order to get a shot opportunity. And even if she did, actually we can go right underneath her. Look at that. That's a shot. We could go right underneath her. Especially if we crouch down. So we just gotta wait till she puts her head up. Then we can take that shot. Got him! So... I don't know if we actually did hit heart there? Or what? But we definitely got something good. It was either heart or double lung. Oh, what do we got here? Tiny little bull right in front of us. Go for a heart shot on him. And we got another tiny bull out there on the truck. Wow, imagine if we pulled off a heart shot. But we didn't. So since this bull went down so quickly, I'm almost wondering if it went down quicker because it's way closer. Since that bull was like 260 plus out there. Why do I hear something running? It's a turkey! Woo! 300 Magnum will do the job on that, that's for sure. Couldn't quite see the other one, but... We got one down. Straight through the heart and left lung. Wow! That is dying potential. Wow. 260 to 316. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of that bull. And what a perfect rack. He's got both shovels sticking way out. Man, is that one impressive looking bull. Holy. All right, well. We were going over here to see if we made a potential heart shot on this bull and all of a sudden we just spotted that guy. Which now has my interests more than ever. So anyways, I'm still kind of curious if we did in fact hit the heart on this bull. Let's pick him up. So we missed the heart, went right through the antler there. As you can see, it went right through that antler and still got double lung at 250. Solid bull, 210. But it's nowhere near the size of the bull that we're about to go after right now. And you know, we're gonna be taking him down with the hawk edge bow. This is gonna be our first giant diamond bull moose with the new hawk edge bow. Now this terrain here is a little bit confusing because if we stay down on the bottom, we'll be able to see really good, but we'll have a bad wind. If we go up over on the top, we're going to be able to see really, really good. And we'll have a good wind, but we're going to be kind of far away from that bull. Especially to be able to get within bull range. But I feel like, honestly, that's pretty much the only option that we have at this point. Alright, so there's our bull right there. About 190 yards out, but can we call this bull in? Ooh, that cow could be a problem there. Let's see if we can't call. 
You know what? Since this cow's gonna be a problem, potentially. I'll just smoke her. I highly doubt he's gonna spook from that. Nah. But now, we're gonna put out a call and see if we can't get this beast of a bull to come in. I don't know if he's going to or not, but there's a chance. Oh my god, you guys. He's coming in. He is coming in. Look at the size of this bull coming in here. Holy, look at this. Unbelievable. Wow. That is stunning looking. Absolutely breathtaking bull. All right, well, he's interested, but he's definitely taking his time. Come on, come on, big bull. We got a perfect win, so we're gonna keep calling right here. And once he gets to about 100 yards out or to the edge of that brush row there, then we'll slide over and tuck into cover. But oh my God, here he comes. This is unbelievable. Here he comes. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have cover. Oh my god, we don't have cover. We don't have cover. That's okay, that's okay. There's our bull, there's our bull. Oh, wait, there he is. Oh my god. He's 96 yards out from us. What a beast of a bull. I am absolutely freaking out right now. I've never seen a bull this big come in this close to us before. That might be a 300 plus. He's perfectly symmetrical too. Oh man, here he comes. Oh my God, here he comes guys. He's 70 yards out right there. Man, if he hangs tight right to that riverbed there, oh, I would go for an 80 yard shot right here. If he gets to right here, I'm going for the shot. He's 90 right there. That's a little bit too far for a shot, but I'll go for 80. He's 75 yards out right there, guys. Okay. I'm going to zero him for 60. It's not quite a shot just yet. Oh, but that is... He's angled a little bit too much. Oh, it's not a shot. It's not a shot. You know, I would take that shot, but lately what's happening is we're taking the shot and he could step forward. And it's way too risky. So we're still zeroing him for 60. I'm going to call one more time. That's 60, that's 60. Come on, full draw, full draw. 57, 57. Money, smoked him. Oh my God. Giant bull is gonna go down right in the river. Holy, did you see the size of that thing? Oh my God, let's go get him. That was definitely by far the biggest bull moose we've ever seen on the New England mountains and potentially the biggest bull moose that we've ever seen in Call of the Wild period. And to have him come in to 55 yards, perfectly broadside like that on the river bottom, just wow. But here he is right over here, guys. <laughs> Let's take a look at this incredible looking bull. Oh my God, look at that thing. All right, let's take just an awesome picture of this. Looks like the sun went down right behind those clouds there. So if we wait a couple of seconds, it should come back out. And there we go. Wow, what a picture and what a bull. Let's pick him up, guys. What? What? <sighs> How? 274? Point twenty two. He wasn't wide enough. Oh man. <laughs> he missed being a diamond by point zero seven.
Still a giant bull though. Still a huge, humongous bull. Monstrous bull moose. Ginormous bull moose. He really is. But he just wasn't quite big enough to be a diamond. Still. I'm honestly super, super pumped about this bull. And he is, in fact, our biggest bull of the New England mountains. From what I'm seeing here, it looks like his right side actually has a thicker paddle than his other side. So maybe if they were both symmetrical, then he probably would have been maybe even 300 plus. I mean, either way, what an incredible looking bull. Like... Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. Just unfortunately not quite big enough to be a diamond. Let's take a look at our shot though. 55 yards. I ended up getting a perfect double lung shot. You can see we were kind of high up on that bank shooting down into the river. So we had a little bit of a higher entrance here. But our exit should have been pretty much right on point there. Right in center of the opposite lug there. 55 yards. And what a bull. What a bull indeed. 274.22. And we took a 55 yard perfect double lung shot. But anyways, on that note, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.